Okay, guys, so how you doing? You gotta say something too. What, what should I say? Like, hello, hey, how you doing, guys? Like, welcome to the vlog. Uh, okay, hello. <laughs> okay, I think I'm way more into it. Anyway, <laughs> so, um, we did a video a long time ago called uh, How to Brew Taiwanese High Mountain Tea. Yes. And then, uh, you know, some people were commenting about it, so I thought we'll do another video on how to brew a different type of tea. What kind of tea is it? It's poor. It's called poor. It's a uh, poor cha. Mm. Yeah. And it's a kind so, of comes like a brick, doesn't it? Brick yes, tea. Yes, you want to see? Yeah. So let's let's check it out. And in the past, in the Tang Dynasty, people actually used to use this as a form of investment. Like you would buy the the bricks of tea, and you could store them for many years, and they would increase in value. Mm -hmm. Why don't you pick up a bit so they can see? That's cool. So like when you uh, buy the bricks. We bought this one from China and you can break off the little bits and then put them in the teapot. That's it. And what's this tea good for? Um, tea Yeah, it's a bit more Oh, yeah. Good for digestion, so it's good to drink after dinner. Yes. Yeah. Okay, um, so what are we going to do? We're going to turn on this this thing. Yes. Yeah? This is quite strong tea, so we don't need too much, huh? Don't need too much. Okay, so the great sage Lu Yu says uh, when the water looks like fish eyes, <laughs> that's the good temperature to drink the tea. Shui Ru Yu Mu. The water is like fish eyes, and you can have a look. The water really does look, open that up, the water really does look like fish eyes on the bottom. The lens is kind of steaming up, but uh, yeah, it really does look. Oh, look, there we go. Fish oh, eyes. Wow. Yeah, it really yeah. is fish eyes. Okay, turn it off and let's pour it. Okay, do you want to pour it? Go for it. How long should we do that? Uh, so we need a few seconds. Yeah? A few seconds? Yes. Wow, so quick. Yes, because it's a very strong tea. Okay. You don't, you don't want it to be too strong. Okay, do you want to pour it into the cha hai? So like with the high, uh, Taiwanese high mountain tea, the first time uh, we're not actually going to um, drink it. This is just for washing the leaves and uh, warming the tea, uh, tea ware. So we actually just pour it away. So that and uh, that. And then we brew again. It's about 20 seconds. All right, try again. <clears throat> mm. And it has a very smoky, sort of musty smell. But don't worry, it's fine. It's not moldy. It's just what this tea is like. Okay. Where is poor cha Eliza Yunani? Oh, yeah, 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 Yunnan Pua, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, how many seconds? Is that it? I think, yeah, oh. I think it's fine. And you notice today we're using these um, China cups. Uh, last time, in my previous video, we used a, uh, a glass teapot like this one. So these china and these glass ones, they do not absorb the flavor of the tea. So you can pretty much brew any tea you like in them and constantly change the teas that you brew in them. But then there's this other type of teapot, these uh, clay teapots. Oh, that's the best. Yeah, this is the best, right? And um, you can tell it's good if it has a really high-pitched noise when you do that. This one's like okay, 
but not amazing. The really good ones you can buy maybe three thousand, five thousand dollars at yeah, auction. Yeah, that would be worry. Yeah, 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 and that's also a form of investment. But uh, this this type, you normally only use one type of tea in it because the clay mm, absorbs yes. the flavor of the tea, and uh, you know you it uh, the tea gets better and better as you brew it. You know more and more. That's that. Okay, so let's uh, let's try the tea, huh? So that is how to brew puar cha. Um, uh, what are the steps? Yeah, that's, that's perfect. That's, that's not, perfect? That's not too strong. So what are the steps? You break off a little bit of tea from the tea cake. You then... Yeah, actually it's very easy. This, this yeah. Tea. Because you don't need to wait for like one minute? Oh. oh, that's true, yeah. So you brew only for like uh, 20, so definitely for the first couple of brews, you only need to brew it for 20 seconds. It'll, it, you know, it's really, it's very strong. You can see that the color of this is very dark. That was only 20 seconds. So you brew it for about 20 seconds. If you're using this Gong Fu Cha method, where you put a lot of tea, tea leaves in one small pot, uh, you brew it for that time, and then you pour it into your Cha Hai. And just like with Hai Mountain Oolong, even more so with the Puar Cha, you, um, the first time you uh, brew it is just to wash the leaves and warm the tea wet, and then the second time you start drinking. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. That's it. That's it? Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? I Are you so. sure? <laughs> sure, they might. Yeah, we can drink more. You know, last time everyone, people were disappointed that we didn't speak in Chinese. <笑>上次有一个人失望了我们没有一起讲中文 嗯，真的是一个问题。你你在我们的家，我们就是讲啊什么什么什么什么什么什么什么中文啊，Chinese <笑> is uh, totally mixed together. <laughs> when other people hear us talking, they think we're really strange. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, maybe we'll brew some more different types of tea for you in the future. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, so we're going to a place. It's kind of a surprise. Did we manage to get there, that is? Uh, so, it's a, I'll give you a clue. It's a traditional Chinese kind of place. Uh, right in the heart of New York City on Staten Island. Uh, so we're gonna try and find it and uh, you'll see when we get there. Let's go.